The Seattle Mist are in the hunt for a playoff spot in what could be the final game for a Las Vegas legend. LFL Football Night starts right now. We are the best team in this league. And we're going to show up today by ground and pound and beating them into submission. They say, help me up. I say, hell no. Put your foot on their throat and don't take it off, even if they turn purple. Today is our day. Today is our day of reign of terror on this league. This is a dream that you can win. We are in the great Pacific Northwest for LFL Football Night. Welcome to beautiful Seattle, Washington, inside the Showwear Center. My name is Chet Buchanan, along with my partner, Bobby Hufko. Coach, this is one of the great football regions anywhere. Oregon Duck fans are amazing. Washington Husky fans are amazing. We'll talk about Seattle Seahawks fans, Seattle Miss fans. No different here inside the Showwear Center. This is one of the toughest places to play in the LFL. Without a doubt, Chet, this place gets really, really loud. It reminds me of this other team in Seattle, the Seahawks, when they won their championship. That audience, that crowd was totally behind them. It's going to be like that tonight with the Miss. Now, with that crowd, it's going to be interesting. Seattle rookie quarterback 19-year-old sensation Cindy Cummings does. She has to stay calm in the pocket in front of that strong missed rush. She has two weapons to go to, a running back, Marky Henderson, a scat back. Reminds me of Darren Sproles all over the field. And the wide receiver, simply the Stick Schmidt, the big, tall, almost six-footer. she got the speed to go behind the secondary, the hands like velvet. On the defensive side of the ball, the headlines, will this be the final LFL game tonight for Danica Brace? I hope not, but if it is, she left her mark on the LFL like no one else has ever done in the history of this league. Her passion, her desire, the way the team revolves around her, I'm going to hate to see her go, but if she does, it's in her hometown. She started her career right here in Seattle. The LFL Western Conference playoff picture is wide open for Seattle. They control their own destiny. You see they're second in the conference at 2-0-1. LA is a game back at 1-1-1. Seattle wins tonight at home against Las Vegas, next week on the road against Los Angeles. They're in the Western Conference playoffs against Chicago. They lose either one of those games, they could be on the outside looking in. So for the Seattle Mist, what's their real key for tonight? Without a doubt, the key to the game tonight is quarterback Angela Rippin. She's starting the game tonight in place of Marianne Hansen. If she falters, however, don't be surprised that she gets an early hook. Stage is set in Seattle. Let's buckle up the chin straps, turn up the lights, get all taped up, and let's go to war. The Seattle Mist are at home looking for a playoff spot. The Las Vegas Sin want to show everybody they're, they're as good as they've looked. LFL Football Night, your kickoff is next. LFL Football Night is in beautiful Seattle, Washington. A packed house at the Showwear Center as the Seattle Mist look for a playoff spot against the always dangerous Las Vegas Sin. Chet Buchanan and Bobby Huco, Marky Henderson for Las Vegas will kick off. LFL Football Night, it is on. Let's go. Let's go. Jessica Hopkins will take the ball at the four. Dragging tacklers out across the 20-yard line to the 21, and Seattle will start out there. Who else? Danica Brace, the girl we were talking about in the pregame, who might be retiring in on the tackle. Angela Rippon gets the start at quarterback tonight for Seattle. We asked her why she's starting over Marianne Hansen. I definitely think that I'm the better quarterback for tonight. I've been in the system longer. I know it better. Mechanically, I'm more sound than Marianne, so I think I give us the best chance for tonight. Rippon definitely doesn't lack confidence coming into the game. She's only one out of seven for 19 yards with a rating of 39. Horrible stats, but she's got the physical stature. I look for her to have actually a decent game tonight, Chet. On first down from their own 21, Rippon goes to the air. Her first pass is complete to Jessica Hopkins across midfield with a gain of six. With her dad being the all-pro quarterback, Mark Rippon, watch her in the pocket, steps into a great throw into coverage. If she keeps it short and sweet like that, she will have a big night. Great opening call by Coach Michelson, getting the ball. Easy reception for Seattle. Second and four, the ball's on the ground to Stevie Schnorr. She's got enough for a first down and more. A 10-yard gain inside the Las Vegas 15 to the 13. With that combination, having Schnorr in the backfield, one of the most powerful runners in the LFL, and Rippon, Staying short and sweet in the pocket like she did in the first play. This could be a long night for Vegas if they keep this up. 
The fourth-ranked offense in the LFL is in business with a first down at the Las Vegas 13. Rippon will throw again. Under pressure, she'll dump it down. That snore, she'll take it inside the 10, a gain of four on first down. Angela Rippon can deliver the football. Coach Michelson is keeping it short, sweet, succinct, easy play calling. Stevie Snore is having a great year so far, 145 yards, over five yards a carry, one of those powerful backs in the LFL. Second and six for Seattle, inside the 10 at the Las Vegas nine. Early first quarter in Seattle. Ripping with an empty backfield, she'll dump it down again. Pass is complete. They call her DSK, Deanna Shaper Cotter. Let's meet the rest of the Seattle offense. Stevie Schnorr, running back. Megan Hansen, tight end. Deanna Shaper Cotter, tight end. Jessica Hopkins, wide receiver. LaShonda Fowler, wide receiver. Stormy Kepler, center. Angela Rippin, your starting quarterback. Angela Rippin, the key to tonight's game is her right arm. And that right arm throws the ball out of bounds right there on third down. Early on, the Seattle offense has a fourth and one in the red zone. What do you do here, coach? It's only fourth and one, but do you want to try and go for the touchdown here? Well, you have Stevie Schnorr. As I mentioned, she might be arguably the most powerful back this league has ever seen. I'd give her the football and get the yard and move on. There's Seattle head coach Chris Michelson. He's an offensive genius. Maybe the greatest offensive coach ever in the history of the LFL. Let's see what he dials up here early on fourth down. Rippin with the tight set. They're going to call timeout and talk about timeout, it. Timeout, Seattle. That's their first and only timeout of the first half. Coach Michelson saw something, the alignment of Vegas he didn't like, and he got Rippin to call timeout. He, right there, he's, he, it's his fault, he says. It's his fault. He saw something he didn't like. You know what? With the players they have, it's okay. Early timeout. You might need it later, but might as well get fourth down. You can't make any mistakes. No, and of course, Seattle's looking for a playoff spot here tonight. They want to make sure so they can jump out early when you've got fourth and one early in the ballgame. And Coach Michelson simplified this offense for Rippin, making easy reads. And this is only her second start this year. You don't want her making early mistakes. A big fourth down early for Seattle. Inside the five at the Las Vegas four. Full house backfield. They'll hand it off to LaShonda Fowler to the goal line. Did she get in? Danica Brace in the Las Vegas defense says no. Fuck yeah. Good power, Tim. I love watching Danica Brace play the game. On defense, she is as intense a player as I've ever seen, and she kept Fowler out of the end zone right there. It was enough for a first down, so Seattle will have it first and goal at the Las Vegas one-yard line. Who gets the ball here, Coach? Well, it might be Fowler again. Coach Michelson said she's the most underrated player he's ever seen in the league and one of his star players, but she, he, she doesn't get the ball much. Coach Michelson also called Stevie Schnorr a beast when we talked to him a couple of days ago. Schnorr will get the ball. She is stacked up for no gain. Is that Amanda Brace that time, Coach? That is Amanda Brace. Great play from the safety position, just like her sister at linebacker. Let's meet the Brace sisters and the rest of the Las Vegas defense. Cynthia Schmidt, safety. Kia Ramos, defensive end. Lachelle Foreman, defensive end. Danica Brace, middle linebacker. Marky Henderson, corner. Kelly Campbell, corner. Amanda Brace, corner. No question, the heart and soul of that team is the middle linebacker, Danica Brace. Second and goal for the one for Seattle. Full house backfield again. Jessica Hopkins this time to the goal line. Ball is loose. Who's on it? Seattle's got it. Touchdown missed. Amanda Brace with another strong play. She stripped the football, went out there, but Seattle recovered it for six. Wow. Stevie Schnorr at the bottom of the pile. Falls on the fumble in the end zone. Six nothing, Seattle. A rare fumble by Jessica Hopkins. A little misdirection in the backfield. Looks like Hopkins is going to get in, but there's Brace coming up. Bam, stripping the ball. Not protected by Hopkins. Luckily, Stevie Snore comes up with a big heads-up play. Bobby, I wouldn't put it past Coach Michelson to go for two here, try and put their foot on the Las Vegas neck early. You're right, Chet. They like to score a lot of points. He's not scared to go for two. He's got ripping a quarterback. She's got a gun. As I mentioned, I like her quarterback. Under Michelson's system, I think she will be an elite quarterback one day. Seattle will go for two here. Angela Rippin by herself in the shotgun. She'll throw. 
Looking end zone, plenty of time. Pass is incomplete. Just off the fingers of a receiver and the conversion's no good. They try to pick play a rub against, they covered it well. Up early in their quest for a playoff spot. Seattle by six, LFL football night. Back to the Showwear Center in beautiful Seattle, Washington for LFL football night. Seattle's up 6-0. The Las Vegas offense takes the field. Marky Henderson, Cynthia Schmidt, and their quarterback, Cindy Cummings. Cummings has great stats this year, Chet. 21 out of 40, 257 yards, a rating of an incredible 112. The rookie is having a sensational year. First down for Las Vegas at their own 15. Marky Henderson with a carry. She might have gotten a yard. Stevie Schnorr's doing it all. Stevie Schnorr can do it all. Marky Henderson can also. She came into her own against Chicago. Coach Tui learned, just get the ball to her in space, and she can score from anywhere on the field. Second down and nine, Cindy Cummings and the Las Vegas Sin offense. From the shotgun, she'll throw. Cummings looking deep, can't find a receiver, everybody covered. She'll just throw it away. Smart play by the rookie. Smart play, but a bad pass. She had her open, she just overthrew it. Marky Henderson, the intended receiver. Let's beat the Las Vegas Sin offense. Michelle Foreman, center. Danica Brace, tight end. Kia Ramos, tight end. Ashley Brazil, wide receiver. Cynthia Schmidt, wide receiver. Marky Henderson, running back. Cindy Cummings, quarterback. The rookie quarterback, Cindy Cummings, has to have a big game tonight. Right now, she's number two in the league behind Ashley Salerno from L.A. She'll pitch the ball to Marky Henderson on third and nine. Henderson might have gotten three yards on third down. Pushed out of bounds by DSK Deanna Shaper Cotter. Japer Cotter, one of the stars that came out of Canada to play for Seattle. They really rounded out this Seattle Miss team for Coach Michelson. The show where center crowd gets loud. Fourth and six for Las Vegas. Important fourth down here if they want to stick with Seattle and spoil their playoff shot. Cummings will throw, looking long. She's got a receiver just out of the reach of Ashley Brazil. The ball will go back to Seattle. She made the right read. They had man coverage, one-on-one -on, -one on the sideline, just a little bit overthrown. I like it, though. She's going down the field. Show where crowd is loving it. As Angela Rippon and the Seattle offense comes back onto the field, they'll have the ball in Las Vegas territory at the Sin 19-yard line. Great field position for Rip, and let's see if she can take the missed in for two consecutive scores. This will take her early in the game to the level Coach Michelson wants her at. Her confidence will be up. If they go up 14, it could be a big night for her. We'll see what the Seattle offense does here on first down. A free play for the Seattle offense is Stevie Schnorr has a run of about five yards. Yes, on defense, looked like one of the Las Vegas Sin defenders lined up in a neutral zone. You have to keep a three-yard cushion from the football. We do like offense here in the LFL. We will see if that is indeed the call. They are marking the ball off in the direction of the Seattle defense. First appearance tonight for our referee, Jeremy Hewick. Number six of Las Vegas was inside the three-yard neutral zone belt. That's an encroachment foul. Five yards from the previous spot. It's still first down. Nice call, coach. You see Danica Brace there on the screen. It might be her final game tonight in her hometown of Seattle. You know, it's been a really long journey for me. Five years in this league, all kinds of injuries, but seeing as this might be my last game, you know, I can't really imagine a better place to play it than exactly where I started, right here in Seattle. One of the best players ever to see the field in the LFL, Danica Brace. 11 tackles, 13 assists, one interception. There is not a more intense player that I've ever seen in this league. Angela Rippon, play action, has a receiver in the end zone! Off the hands of LaShonda Fowler, incomplete. You saw the strength of Rippon's arm right there. She's got a rifle. That was a wheel route by LaShonda Fowler. She was open in the end zone, hit her hand. She should have actually caught. Any, any time the ball hits your hands, Jet, you got to catch it. Great throw by Rippon. Can Danica Brace and the Las Vegas defense keep the Seattle missed offense out of the end zone? 15 seconds to go, clock running in the first quarter. Second down and five from the Las Vegas 14. This time they'll hand off to Fowler. Inside the 10, 
down to the five yard line before she's pushed out of bounds. A gain of eight. They'll mark her out at the Las Vegas six. You can't teach speed. LaShonda That's the Fowler end of the first quarter. Is arguably the fastest player in the league. Almost broke that one for six. We are at the end of the first quarter in Seattle. The Miss looking for a playoff spot. They're up six nothing. LFL football night. LFL football night, second quarter action from the Showwear Center in beautiful Seattle, Washington. The Seattle Miss looking for a playoff spot. The Las Vegas Sin with Danica Brace on defense, trying to keep them out of the end zone and trying to keep them out of the playoff picture. So far, Angela Rippin is silencing all her naysayers. She's playing strong so far tonight, Chet. Seattle got eight yards on second and five. They'll have a first and goal now at the Vegas Six. Rippin handles the bad snap. She'll run inside the five. Down to the one-yard line where she's hit hard right there by Cynthia Schmidt. Angela Rippin's a great athlete. She uh, short hop Stormy Keffler's bad snap there and made a great play. She runs upright, but every time she runs with the football, she makes yards. Officials time out for injury. While they attend to the injured player, let's listen in on the Seattle sideline to Coach Michelson. It's wide open on that backside. She did pick yeah, you? Pick okay, how was that slant? Hey, hey, what'd that slant look like? Um, I was there for that quick moment. Okay, yeah. well, if she's picking you up that quick, that means that slant's fucking wide open. Yeah. You've got, hey, you've got to fucking get that snap up. That's all I care about, okay? Yeah. Where are we at right now? I love the way Coach Michelson coaches his offensive players. He told Rippin, get rid of all quick. He had two open receivers, but it all starts with the center. A bad staff takes the reads out of Rippin's eyes. She had to run it up the middle. Could have been six points on the quick slant on the pass. Good positive yardage, though, on first and goal. They'll have a second and goal now from the Las Vegas two. That center quarterback exchange is so underrated. You can't play good football without the rhythm of a good snap. Throw her pass on second and goal. I would pass. You got Rippin throwing high right now. We'll see what they do here. Rippin sends a receiver in motion. They'll keep it on the ground. Stevie Schnoor is into the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle. She's known for her power, but she also has great lateral quickness. Watch her follow blocks. She breaks outside, comes inside, breaks one tackle, then walks in the end zone. Fantastic kick out block by DSK, Deanna Shaper Cotter to spring Schnorr to the end zone. I don't even have to look down on the field. I know Coach Michelson's going for two here. Absolutely, he's gonna make up for that lost opportunity they had last score. But two good drives for Rippin to be a big 12-0 lead so far for the Mist. Ground and pound offense. And like you said, Angela Rippin's looked pretty good throwing the ball as well. Seattle will go for two here. Up 12-0 early second quarter in Seattle. Split backs, toss to Schnorr, fighting her way to the goal line. She's in. Two-point conversion is good. She has so much power. Even they had to play stop. They had a crack back block. They lead blocker outside in the corner to play with stop. But she is so powerful. She's like a locomotive just carrying people into the end zone. Now, for Vegas, there's got to be a sense of urgency. This game's going to get out of hand with Michelson and his 100-play offense. Somehow, the rookie quarterback has to come up with a drive to stop the bleeding. Don't forget, the Seattle Mist are playing for their playoff lives in front of a big home crowd in a loud and rowdy arena. The Las Vegas Sin want to play spoilers, but like you said, Coach, they need to step it up right here. The rookie, 19-year-old Cindy Cummings, she's known for to play big in big games like this on the road in a high Hostile environment, she needs to do something right now. First and 10 on their own 15. Danica Brace will get a carry. She's out across the 20. Slammed down to the ground by Lily Granstein and Jessica Hopkins, and she doesn't appreciate it. Bro, no, that's not fucking cool, and you know it. Brace upset, being slammed down by Jessica Hopkins. A little extracurricular activity right here, but it was a clean hit on all sides by Seattle. And by the way, Coach, did you see who the first Las Vegas Sin teammate was to go to Danica Brace's aid? Her sister, Amanda Brace. Amanda Brace. The Brace sisters, they're both beasts. Second and three for the Las Vegas offense at their own 22. Cummings will go to the air. Trying to find Marky Henderson. There's flags all over on the play. 
Looked like Lily Granston got there a little bit early. Man-to-man -man coverage all over the field. Just got there a split second before the ball. Perfect timing here for the Las Vegas offense. They need a spark down 14-0. This might be just what they need. First down, get them into Seattle territory. Once again, here's referee Jeremy Hewick. Pass interference, defense number seven. By rule, the ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. First and 10. It's always the off hand that gets caught on man-to-man -man interference. The right hand grabs the receiver when the left hand is trying to break the ball up. And that's where you get in trouble with that right hand, isn't it, Coach? It gets you in trouble a lot of times, Chet. First and 10, Las Vegas in Seattle territory at the 22. Cummings on a quarterback keeper inside the 15. Big hit there by Seattle's number seven, Lily Granston again. She reminds me so much of L.A.'s Ashley Salerno. That's how Salerno runs the football. When she runs, she doesn't slide or go out of bounds. She delivers a blow. Trip set. It's a quarterback sweep. She delivers a blow. Bam! That's how to run the football. Enough yardage there for a Las Vegas first down. An 11-yard gain on the play. Seattle's in business. They had looked a little stagnant. Now they're starting to find their groove. First and 10 at the Seattle 11. Cummings is such a competitor. She's not going to let this game go by without giving it a run. And she seems to be calm now in the face of this big Seattle crowd. And the Seattle defense tries to get the ball out to Marky Henderson. That pass is incomplete. Seattle has this guys, their coverages tonight. Nobody's wide open. Everybody's tight coverages. It's almost like the NFL. You have to deliver strikes right on the money. So far, Cummings is off. But give credit to that Seattle defense. You, like you said, they have been tough all night long. And they're disguising their coverage is great. They're lining up inside like it's man, then they go in the zone. Right now, they have the rookie confused. She's not completing any passes. Second and 10, and Las Vegas needs a score. As we're under five minutes in the first half. Cummings will keep it again. Inside the five. Did she get in? I think she did, Chad. I think she did. It's a touchdown for the Las Vegas Sin. Cindy Cummings with an 11-yard touchdown run. She is the real deal. It's the exact same play they ran. The quarterback sweep to the right. Nobody came up from the safety position. Michelson, Coach Michelson is upset with his safeties. Nobody came up and hit Cummings. They tried to shove her out of bounds, but it was too late. And just like that, Las Vegas has a chance to cut the lead in half. She is only a rookie. Players like this, they don't come around often, and they have Coach Michelson upset at his defense right now. Las Vegas will try to cut the lead in half. They'll go for one here from the one-yard line. Cummings in the shotgun. This time she'll throw. Heavy pressure. She goes down. Fumble, sack, incompletion. Call it whatever you want. The conversion is no good. They tried the same play to the left. Trip set to the left. It was a pass run option here. Nobody there. Great coverage again. Cummings couldn't run in like she did before. So now the ball goes back to Angela Rippon and the Seattle Mist offense. Let's see what Coach Michelson has dialed up. First play, the trip's right, post curl wheel. Okay, be patient, don't force anything. Watch that wheel route, just look at it. But don't throw the wheel if it's not there, okay? Sounds like they're gonna try to go up top. Trip's right with a wheel. And if I understood that right, they're going to go to the speed demon, LaShonda Fowler, try to get her behind that coverage. And like you said earlier, Coach, is this one of those plays where they're trying to build Rippon's confidence? Not necessarily. This is a play to try to score a quick touchdown after the Vegas drive. Michelson coaches like this. I love it. Try to score. You score, bam, come right back at him. Rippon under center on first down. We heard Coach Michelson say they were going to throw. She will. Looking deep. There's LaShonda Fowler. Just a little too high. Still a good pass by Rippon. That's twice the ball went off of Fowler's hands. Yes, it was a little bit behind, but she was throwing, going to her right. Into coverage, she threw a strike. That ball should have been caught. In what may be the final game for LFL legend Danica Brace, her defense holds on first down. If they can get the ball back, maybe they can score before halftime and make this game close. You're right, Chet. Seattle has a wide open scoring offense. I wouldn't be surprised if they keep throwing the ball all the way down the field to open this game up. Second and 10 on the ground, that end around again to Fowler. She gets out to the 15 yard line, maybe a gain of one on the play. Kelly Campbell made the stop for Las Vegas. Angela Rippon has so many intangibles. Everybody talks about her being the face of the league, all about her look. She's a glamour girl. But with the coaching, I mentioned it before with Michelson, she will be a winner with Seattle. 
see what Coach Michelson and the Seattle offense does here on third and nine. You see Angela Brace calling the play for the Seattle defense. Big play here for both sides. They'll stay on the ground to Stevie Schnorr. She's out towards a first down. She's going to be just short. Stevie Schnorr was taken down by Kia Ramos. That tells you the confidence that Coach Michelson has in Stevie Schnorr. Third and nine, he gives it to the power back. What blocking up front, though, by Kefler Hansen and Shaper Cotter. Big on big again. A driver doesn't have anything about his pit crew. You know that, Chet. Another huge fourth down for Seattle as we approach the two-minute warning in the first half. They are not going to get the playoff. This is the two-minute warning. We have reached the two-minute warning in Seattle with the mist of eight. But the Las Vegas scene with Danica Brace, they're ready to fight. We'll see if they can stop them on fourth down next. Two minutes left to go in the first half in Seattle. Gorgeous in the summertime. I grew up your best time of the year to be here, Bobby. I know you say it rains all the time. Every, every time I've been in Seattle, it rains. But it is a gorgeous city up there. The great Northwest, the home of Nirvana and you, Chet. <laughs> Seattle missed with an important fourth down and two yards to go on their own 23-yard line. Angela Rippon will hand it off to Stevie Schnorr. First down yardage down to the 21-yard line of Las Vegas. Big first down pickup right there. Great block up front by the center, Stormy Keffler. We gave her a hard time about the bad snap, but that was all her. Blown back, Braves five yards, so Snore could easily get the first down. Heading back to the huddle, Snore let her know, too. She said thanks a lot, gave her a little tap on the way by. First down at the Las Vegas 21. Angela Rippon and the Seattle offense trying to go up two scores with a minute and a half to go in the first half. Fake the pitch, she'll throw, looking deep again. Has a receiver wide open, into the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle, Jessica Hopkins. I'm telling you, Angela Rippon will be a star in this league under the tutelage of Chris Michelson. She plants, she sets, throw the strike in the hole, on the money to Jessica Hopkins. And we forget that at one time, Jessica Hopkins was an all-fantasy wide receiver in the LFL. They looked like the number four offense in the LFL on that drive. Quick strike, go up two scores before halftime. The Seattle Mist offense will go for the one-point conversion here, Coach. Don't forget, when they had Laurel Creel at quarterback, they led the league in scoring. This offense is a wide-open offense. Maybe Rippon can get them back to that level. Full house backfield from the one-yard line. Handed off to Fowler around the left side to the goal line. Did she get in? Yes. Yes. The conversion is good, and Seattle goes up 21-6. There are so many weapons. You got Fowler. You got Hopkins. You got Schnorr. You got Megan Hansen. They can go anywhere with the ball. I just think the way they're setting up Angela Rippon right now in control of the offense, they simplified it for her. This could be a high-scoring Seattle team that we used to love to watch. Not sure they're ready to take on the Los Angeleses or the Chicago's of the Western Conference yet, but this Seattle Miss team, you can definitely see potential. They definitely have potential. They've been there before. They were undefeated last year. They almost went all the way, but that somehow they always lose a game. They got a big one coming up against LA, but so far tonight, they look solid. Minute 17 for the Las Vegas offense to try and get something going. Fumbled snap, coming to left to run. Lily Granston laying the wood again. Another bad exchange between the center and quarterback. Lachelle Foreman, the center, didn't even know Cummings was in the shotgun. She thought she was under center. They got a lucky bounce with the ball going to Cummings, though. I'm going to say it right now. Give Lily Granson the number 25. She's the Richard Sherman of that Seattle defense. Second and seven for Las Vegas. Cummings to the air. Pass is incomplete. On the money. Should have been six. A great throw right there. The ball was there. She throws such a pretty pass. Dropped. Could have been a big play for Vegas. Ashley Brazil just... Just couldn't bring it in. That'll bring up a third and seven. Clock is stopped with 49.2 seconds left to go in the first half here in Seattle. The missed up 21-6. Doesn't the rookie throw a pretty pass, though? That just looked great. Should have been a completion. Her stats are not going to be great, but Cindy Cummings has had a decent first half. Another bad snap. Cummings just has to eat it. She'll be sacked back at the 10-yard line. Coach Tui is livid on the sideline right now. The basic center quarterback exchange, they can't execute it right now, which costs this whole offense. You can't even run the play when you don't get the ball. Las Vegas is going to get bailed out. Through the zone infraction, number 18, 
defense. Five yards from the previous spot. Repeat third down. Real ticky tacky call there. Ooh, and Coach Michelson is hot. What number? You don't even know what number. You're so full of shit. That's two shitty calls. I got to agree with Coach Michelson. The neutral zone call in the LFL, it is so ticky tacky. It's hard to judge the three yard cushion. That's twice. I don't blame Coach Michelson for being livid right there. Coach Michelson, slightly more eloquent than ticky tacky. They'll make a third and two for Las Vegas. Cummings going deep. Got a receiver. Touchdown. Marky Henderson with a 27-yard reception in the end zone. And just like that, Las Vegas is back in it. Marky, little train, Henderson wide open, going against all fantasy. Jessica Hopkins one-on-one -on -one and blows by her another beautiful pass by the rookie, Cindy Cummings. Wow, they're back in this one. Boy, and you thought Coach Michelson was mad a minute ago. Look at him. Man-to-man -man coverage, you go deep. I cannot believe the reads that this rookie makes. She saw the man coverage, she went for six, and she got it. Las Vegas will go for the two-point conversion. Cummings rolling left, she'll run, nope, now she'll throw. It's intercepted in the end zone. This run back is inconsequential. The conversion is no good. The Las Vegas Sin will most likely go into halftime down 21 to 12. Cummings has the pass read option on that. It's a trip set. She runs out to the left. If there's nothing there, she can dump it to the receiver. But she took too long to do that. She allowed the safety Jessica Hopkins come over and make a great pick. She made up from getting burned a second ago. Although I say that Las Vegas may go into halftime down 21 to 12. There's still 28 seconds left, and Seattle does have that quick strike offense. Angela Rippins looked pretty decent here in the first half. She's been hot. Every pass has been on the money. She had a couple big drops, but you're right. Coach Michelson likes going for the jugular. He might go up top right now. And Coach Michelson likes to throw, like you said, 100 plays in that playbook. Even though they boiled it down some for Angela Rippin, they can still put up yards and points in a hurry. And he loves to do it. That wouldn't shock me at all if he goes deep. They'll start first and 10 at their own 15. Rippin will throw. Plenty of time. Flushed out of the pocket now. She'll run out to the 20. She'll go out of bounds there to stop the clock. Just under 20 seconds to go. See, that is the new Angela Rippin. In the old days, she would have thrown that one up and, you know, Hail Mary, hopefully we get it, make you picked off. But now she tucked it, got what she could, and teed it up again. Let's do another play. That's smart football. 19.8 seconds to go in the first half. A second down and four for the Seattle miss. They're at their own 21-yard line. Rippon will be under center. Schnorr behind her in the eye. Rippon will throw. Dump it off to Schnorr just a little too far. And I think Schnorr heard footsteps. Heard footsteps. That looked like the old Angela Rippon right there. She heard footsteps. She was getting pressure. Just threw it out there. Luckily, it didn't get picked off. I don't care who you are, male, female, college, pro, little league, whatever. If Danica Brace is bearing down on you, you're going to cringe a little. Absolutely. It's her last game. Maybe her last game. You do not want to get hit by her tonight. Third down and four yards to go. 15 seconds left to go in the first half. You can hear a pin drop in here. The rookie quarterback Cummings took the crowd out of the game. Seattle fans also know their football. You got to be quiet on offense. There was the Angela Rippon you talked about. Throws the ball up for grabs. It's intercepted by Ashley Brazil. Coach Michelson, that's what he told us. He did not. That's why he didn't play her. That's why he gets upset with her because there's nothing there. She threw it out there, picked off, and now Las Vegas and the hot Cindy Cummings gets the ball back. She's got time. There's nobody open there. She threw it up for grabs, got picked off like it should have. Let's see what the rookie could do for Las Vegas. Going back to Coach Michelson and Angela Rippon, I like what Coach did there. He was mad at her. He started to bark at her, then walked away for a second. Now he'll go back and do some coaching. Exactly. Exactly right, Chet. Now you coach. You don't yell at her because then you get all frazzled. Tell her what she did wrong. You know that the whole second half she played good so far except for that pass. Cindy Cummings for Las Vegas with seven seconds to go. They might get two plays out of it. The first play is incomplete. Coach Tui and his offensive staff, they've got the gun on the quarterback. They can go deep, throw it in the end zone. Why not throw a Hail Mary right here and get lucky and tighten the game up even more? 40 yards to go on second down. Las Vegas is at their own 10 with just under three seconds to go. Should be the final play of the first half here in Seattle with the missed up 21-12. 
Cummings will throw, as you would imagine. She tries to get it all at once, just a little too far for the intended receiver, and that will bring us to the end of the first half in Seattle. Your Seattle Mist are looking for a playoff spot. They have to win tonight. The Las Vegas Sin looking to play spoilers. Halftime at the Showware Center in Seattle, Washington. LFL football night. Seattle laying the lumber on Las Vegas. They're up 21-12 at halftime. in practice, like every fucking goddamn game, I tell you, day in, day out when we practice. Don't jam her. You aren't fast enough. Step the fuck back and keep her under you. I'll give up six, seven yards. I'm not giving up six fucking points. I'm sick of it. Back inside the Showware Center in beautiful Seattle, Washington, LFL football night where the hometown Seattle Miss lead the Las Vegas Sin 21 to 12. I'm Chet Buchanan with the coach Bobby Huco, and perhaps this game a little closer than a lot of people thought it would be. I don't think so, Chet. Vegas has played solid all year long. They're just a little uncharacteristic here in the first half with their star quarterback, Cindy Cummings, only completing one out of seven passes. Her running back, Marky Henderson, only four yards on two carries. She needs more touches in the second half. Seattle seems content to go with that ground and pound offense with Stevie Schnoor and Angela Rippon. She's been efficient. Rippon's done well. She can play four out of nine passes in the first half and a solid touchdown pass. She did have a touchdown pass. We'll get to that in a minute. Let's check out the scoring in the first half. In the first quarter, Jessica Hopkins fumbles on the goal line. Stevie Schnorr is right there to pick the ball up. 6-0 Seattle. Then early in the second quarter, Schnorr scores in a more conventional fashion from two yards out. The Seattle lead is 14. Las Vegas finally responds with their star quarterback, Cindy Cummings. She takes it herself from 11 yards out to cut the lead to 14-6. to Then Angela Rippon with that touchdown pass. 21 yards to a streaking Jessica Hopkins. Seattle is in control. 21-6. Then right before the end of the half with 37 seconds left before the break, the two Las Vegas rookies hook up. Cummings to Lil Train, Marky Henderson, 27 yards, 27 to 12 at halftime. That's where we are now. Coach, let's take a look at the first half stats. Stats are pretty even with the exception of Seattle doubling Vegas in a time of possession behind the power running of Snore. Seattle also converted two key fourth downs, otherwise a pretty even first half. The next 16 minutes definitely will tell the story here in Seattle. Your second half kickoff LFL football night is coming up next. Ready for second half action in Seattle. Welcome back to the Showware Center in beautiful Seattle, Washington for LFL football night. Seattle will kick off to start the second half up 21 to 12 and looking for a playoff spot. Cindy Cummings, one out of seven, but not that bad. A lot of drops. Angela Rippon, four out of nine. One touchdown pass for each. And Cindy Cummings is hot right now. She threw it up post pattern to Marky Henderson for six. Marky Henderson will get the ball to start the second half. Coming out from her goal line. Almost breaks through. Found a little hole out across the 20-yard line. Great field position for Vegas starting off the second half. And they do it every week. They almost beat Chicago, the defending champs. Here we go again. They're only nine points down against Seattle, who was undefeated last year. Almost beat, almost beat, almost beat. They're always dangerous. One day they'll get over the hump, and they will be a tough out in the Western Conference. Coach Tui, he could not get any sleep all week. He got no winks last night. He was sleepless in Seattle waiting for this game. They have a lot to build on in Las Vegas. Let's see what they can do here on offense to start the second half. That's Marky Henderson. Six yards across midfield down to the Seattle 23-yard line. LaShonda Fowler made the stop for Seattle. Now the backfield, she's not as explosive. When you get the ball in the flat, you throw the ball in the flat or downfield, she's in open space like we talked about, and she has the potential to make moves and run across the field against anybody. But out of the backfield, she's not as explosive. Darren Sproles, the comparison you made in pregame, Bobby. Second and four from the Seattle 23. 
Danica Brace gets the inside handoff. Close to the first down. She will get first down yardage. Slammed down hard again by Lily Granston. Here we go again. Granston has something to up for Danica Brace tonight. She turns a corner. Granston and number five. As always, Jessica Hopkins right there. Slammed to the ground again. They got a little fight going on here. I love it. First and 10, Las Vegas from the Seattle 17. They could make this game real close with the score here to start the second half. Inside handoff again. That's Marky Henderson. Like you said, the explosion's just not there. But she's still getting good yardage up front. They're controlling the line of scrimmage, which is kind of surprising at that strong Seattle front. This is a passing team, and they're throwing it right down their throat right now. And four yards on first down is never a bad thing. Not at all. Now that gives all kind of options for the rookie. Cindy Cummings, pass, run, whatever you want to do. Second and six, early in the second half in Seattle. Cummings will keep around the right side. Horse collar down, clothesline down by Megan Hansen. The only play that works, you have to have an outside seal block, which did not happen. She couldn't turn a corner because they couldn't seal the edge for Cummings. If this is your first LFL game, you probably said what a lot of people say when they watch their first LFL game. There is a lot of hitting. Chet, you couldn't have said it better. As an ex-coach, I coached Miami for two years. I was shocked by the intensity. The hits are just as hard as the NCAA. Physicality is the word that came to mind just then. Third and five, Las Vegas inside handoff. Kia Ramos inside the five-yard line. First down, Las Vegas. Great play selection by Sidney Cummings. They lined up just like they did going the quarterback sweep to the right with a trip set to the right. They come inside the Kia Ramos. Big hole inside. They are controlling the line of scrimmage right now. First and goal, and here comes Las Vegas. Down 21-12 early in the third quarter, trying to make this game close again. I wouldn't be surprised if they mixed it up. They haven't showed pass the whole half so far. Cummings out of the shotgun. Quick pass over the middle. Danica Brace, touchdown. Welcome home, baby. Welcome home. Welcome home. Hey. Home sweet home for Danica Brace. What a read by the rookie quarterback, Cindy Cummings. There's no safeties out there. She saw that. The safeties are split out wide. There's nobody in the defensive backfield. Just dumps it over the middle. Wide open, Danica Brace. 21-18. Who would have called this, Chet? Las Vegas just will not quit. But, Coach, why are they going for two here? Good question. They're down three. It doesn't matter. You need points on the board. I would go for one. Good call, Chet. And they'll sweep left with Marky Henderson. She slammed out of bounds. That conversion is no good unless we alluded to a couple of seconds ago. There's been a lot of big hits in this game tonight. LFL hard hitting football at his best. 21 18. We got a ball game. Once again, it's just like everybody who asked me, what's it like to go to an LFL game? Hard hitting football. If you like that, you like the LFL. Seattle starts out first and 10 at their own 15. And you're right, Bobby. Show wear is quiet. Inside handoff. That's Stevie Schnorr. First down yardage out to midfield. Again, great blocking up from Stormy Kepler. Look at the block right there. Destroyed Sydney Cummings. Destroyed her 10 yards down the field. Cummings finally gets in for the tackle. Great blocking by the center. Ground and pound offense again for Seattle. Do you think maybe Coach Michelson's gotten a little gun shy after that Angela Rippin duck at the end of the Absolutely. first half. Absolutely got gun shot. You don't want your quarterback doing that. They lucked out. They didn't get any points out of it. But you want to calm your quarterback down now. It's only a three-point game. Especially with Las Vegas having momentum. Back on the ground again, Stevie Schnorr. She'll pick up another first down and more. Carrying tacklers inside the 15-yard line down to the 12. When you have a beast like this at running back, you don't need to throw the football. The offensive line is playing great. And Schnorr, as always, she goes 100%. Another first down for Seattle. Schnorr, five rushes, 25 yards, a five-yard average. As always, she's always five yards and up every time she touches the football. Give it to her here again, Coach. Why not? She's on fire. First and 10, Seattle at the Las Vegas 12, trying to answer the sin score that made it 21-18. Rip in play action. She'll throw. Looking to the end zone. 
just out of the reach of LaShonda Fowler. Good form, a little bit too late. She should have stepped up in the pocket, thrown in the corner. Fowler was out there. She was covered, but she threw it in a good spot. Either Fowler's going to get it or goes in the crowd. Not any lollipops or ducks like she did at the end of the first half. Outside of that duck at the end of the first half, she's been throwing a good ball tonight. I agree. When she has time, when she sets her feet, when she throws with her eyes, she's solid. But when she starts scrambling, throwing backwards, and throwing ducks up in the air, that's when people say, up, oh, the old Angela Rippin is back. The Las Vegas yeah. Sin trying to play spoilers. Yeah. Seattle Miss trying to stay alive in the playoff chase. Inside handoff, Megan Hansen. She gets hit hard just inside the 10-yard line. Chris Michelson mixing it up again, bringing Hansen around on reverse. Great play. Got some yardage, but I think this one's coming back, Chet. During the run, holding Seattle number 20. Five yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Repeat second down. They caught Deanna Shaper Cotter. Nothing blatant. I watched her block. Just a little bit of a grab. They could have let it go. Chet, you know they could call hold every play if they want to. They sure could. This one from the spot of the foul will bring the ball back to the original line of scrimmage. Second and 10 all over again for Seattle at the Las Vegas 12-yard line. Now only up three after dominating early. This is where Coach Michelson likes play action passes. Just to get the ball out to somebody in space. Shot. Go! Angela Rippon, she'll throw. Looking over the middle, pass is complete inside the five yard line. LaShonda Fowler made the catch. That's the play they did not complete earlier in the game. You got Fowler coming across on a dagger across the middle. Now Rippon put the only place she could catch it. If she would have let her have been picked off. She puts it back shoulder, bam, great play, great catch by Fowler. Danica Brace on the coverage in what may be her final LFL game, played here in her hometown of Seattle. It's a third down and a yard to go now for Seattle at the Las Vegas three-yard line. They pulled Rippin out of the game. Now hustling to the line, play clock running down. Didn't get it off. Delay of game, offense, five-yard penalty. It's still third down. I have to blame that one on the head coach, Michelson. They had the team moving. Rippon's throwing great passes, moving the ball down the field. You put in a trick play with Stevie Schnorr going up under center, and everybody got confused. Now it's delayed game. When you got mojo, you don't change the mojo. An old football coach of mine used to say, hang around, hang around, and soon you won't be around. And it feels like Seattle's hanging around right now. They need a score here. I mean, right now, Vegas is playing just the way they want to. Here it is going to the fourth quarter, and they're only three points behind. Now it's a third and six from the eight. Schnorr will get the ball inside the five. She will not get the first down. That'll bring up a fourth down for the Seattle Mist, needing a score here as we approach the end of the third quarter. The Brace sisters again. Amanda Brace is playing just as hard and as well as her sister Danica Brace coming up from the safety position. Now it goes to fourth down. We talked about that costly penalty. Here we go. We say it a lot, but this is a huge fourth down. A yard to go for Angela Rippon and the Seattle offense. Full house backfield. Rippon will run. She won't get there. Stopped by Amanda Brace. Amanda Brace playing the game of her career tonight. Coming up, Rippon missed a handoff. Got to blame that on the QB right there. She had to keep it herself, and Brace said, no way, no how. Get the ball back to Vegas. Wow, what a stop. I love Coach Michelson, but he's got nobody to blame but himself right there. They had the ball on the three-yard line going in. Just hand the ball to Stevie Schnorr. Exactly. Give her the ball and she walks in the end zone. Now you got the rookie sensation with the ball back in her hands. Las Vegas tries to get the playoff, but we have reached the end of the third quarter. A wild ball game in Seattle on LFL football night. Seattle needs a win to stay in the playoff picture. Las Vegas has the ball and they're down three.
would have believed it going into the start of the second half? Seattle was in complete control. The Las Vegas Sin came roaring back in the third quarter. They have the ball now. Down three as we start the fourth quarter in Seattle. Chet Buchanan and the coach Bobby Huco. Can you believe what a ball game we have? I can believe it because of the quarterback, Cindy Cummins. She is a gunslinger. She doesn't care if she's one out of seven. She's going to keep throwing and throwing and throwing. No, she has the talent. No, she has the receivers. Las Vegas starts out first and ten on their own four. Marky Henderson, tough running inside out to the ten-yard line. This is what Marky Henderson gives you. Watch this. Bam! Quick cut inside like a scat back. A good SEC back makes that same cut. That's why she is so exciting. She will be a star in this league. This game has gotten tight, and Coach Michelson is lashing out at the officials. Are you guys going to fucking flag this team? And all you, are we just the only ones that are on the fucking goddamn flags? They're false starting every fucking goddamn okay. time. Fucking Christ. Hey, defense, you better step the fuck up. Let me tell you a little something, Seabird. You see the score? They're down three fucking points. They score, we're fucking down right now. So D the fuck up. That inside fucking handoff's bullshit. You DNs better stop that shit. Every time. Coach Michelson upset at the officials, upset at his team. He should be upset at himself a little bit, too. Meanwhile, on second and four, Cindy Cummings around the right side. She's got first down yardage and more, a gain of nine out to the Las Vegas 19-yard line. Cindy Cummings, she thrives under pressure. She comes through every time in the clutch. Only 19 years old, she plays like a seasoned veteran. Lily Granston with another tough physical hit for the Seattle defense. First and 10 for the Las Vegas Sin. They can take the lead with a score here. Seven minutes left to go in the ball game. They have completely taken the Seattle crowd out of the game. It's quiet at show wear. They're trying to make some noise for their defense. There's not much there. Cummings will go to the air. Throw to the sideline. What a great effort by Cynthia Schmidt. Sticks making the acrobatic catch. They don't give it to her. They say she's out of bounds. Wow, I would just give it to her. That was incredible. Maybe one of the greatest catches I've seen in the LFL. How did she come down with that? If I was the refs, I would just give it to her. Schmidt wanted Unbelievable it. Unbelievable catch. How did they not let her get that call? And how come we don't have a replay on that? Second and 10 for Las Vegas now. Under six and a half to go. The Sin going for the lead in Seattle. Inside handoff to Kia Ramos. Eight tough yards out across midfield. That's what Coach Michelson is upset at. The inside runs are killing Seattle. They usually have a strong defensive front, but you got to hand it to the front of the Las Vegas Sin. Kia Ramos, Lachelle Foreman, Danica Brace blowing away the mist right now. It'll bring up a third and two for the Las Vegas Sin what offense. This could be the upset of the year. If somehow Sidney Cummings can come up with a big play on this drive and upset Seattle when they have to have this game. Cummings will keep it herself and get another first down. Four yards to the Seattle 19-yard line. Cynthia Schmidt and Ashley Brazil on the outside downfield stock blocking that's opening up that quarterback sweep for Cummings. The Las Vegas Sin in business. First and 10 at the Seattle Miss 19. Down three with just over five minutes left to go. When we talked to Coach Michelson during the week, there's no way he thought he'd be down three with five minutes left. Marky Henderson inside. Tough yardage there, a big hit again. Hey, guess who? Lily Granston. Lily Granson, she's having a wonderful year. She might be the rookie of the year if she keeps playing like this. Five foot six, 138 pounds of dynamite. Time out on the field. Can Las Vegas come all the way back? Will Seattle keep their playoff hopes alive? It's LFL football night. Under five minutes to go in Seattle and a tight ball game in the Showwear Center. Coach Michelson has had some choice words for his quarterback tonight. Let's go! Hurry up, Angela! Why did you not hand that ball off? You're just trying to force stuff, and you're just throwing it in the air. Who was that to? You don't even know, see? You gotta calm the fuck down when you get in that fucking goddamn offense. There's no reason we shouldn't score there. I got one timeout. I can't use the fucking timeout when you guys fucking don't get out of the huddle fast enough. I got no challenges with no timeouts. I can't fucking use it. 
You got to love Coach Michelson talking to his quarterback. I've seen him way more upset with that. He's just correcting little mistakes that she made. She's taking them all in now. Let's see if she can come back when they get the ball back and have a solid drive. They've got to stop Las Vegas first. Las Vegas going for the lead with a second and nine at the Seattle 18. Cummings under center. Play action. She'll throw. Looking down the sideline just out of the hands of Danica Brace. She had her wide open in the flat. Play action pass. She stepped up. She threw it a little bit late and behind Brace. Blame that on the rookie quarterback. That could have been a big gain for Vegas. Seattle defense closed quickly. It'll bring up a third and nine now. Just a little bit off, just a hair. Everything else was good except the delivery. Las Vegas down by three, looking for the upset. Cummings in the shotgun, she'll throw again. Looking over the middle. Wow, she zipped that in there just incomplete. She was looking for Ashley Brazil. Lily Granston on a good defensive play. Might have got there early again. She got called early in the game for pass interference. Very close on that one. The crucial play of the game with just under four minutes to go. The show where center comes to its feet in Seattle. It's fourth down. Nine yards to go. The ball game on the line for the Las Vegas Sin. Now the crowd's back in the game. This is the play of the game for the rookie sensation quarterback, Cindy Cummings. Cindy Cummings fakes the handoff. Got a receiver wide oh. open. Ball is dropped by Danica Brace. Had the perfect play call. They came with a corner blitz, a safety blitz. Danica Brace wide open in the flat. That could have been the play of the year for Vegas. She could have walked in the end zone. It was a little bit high, but should have been caught. Great play selection. Just couldn't come down with it in what could be her final LFL game in her hometown. Danica Brace drops the ball on fourth down. Seattle will take over, leading by three with three and a half minutes to go. That could have been the play to take Seattle out of the playoffs. A perfect call against the Blitz, and Brace dropped the football. Expect ground and pound as the clock runs with 3.15 to go. They'll use all of the play clock. Rippin will toss to Schnorr. Out towards a first down, just short of the first down, a gain of nine, and the clock keeps running with three minutes to go. Danica Brace usually comes up and makes this play. She might be thinking about that drop ball in the previous play. A big gain there for Stevie Schnorr. Second down, a yard to go. They're breathing a little bit easier in Seattle now. They'll take their time. Angela Rippon will make sure everybody's got the message. Solid stats, 5 out of 11, 45 yards, a great touchdown pass, a really bad duck interception, but solid night so far for Rippon. Hand the ball off again inside to Schnorr. First down and more inside the 15, down to the 12-yard line, a 12-yard gain, and a first down. That's rare, usually Danica Brace. The heart and soul of this defense would be there at the line of scrimmage. She doesn't touch Snore until she's 10 yards down the field. If this is her final game, she's not going to like what's happened in the final quarter. Not at all. That drop pass, she's thinking about that right now because her past two defensive plays, she's usually there to make the stop on Snore. This is the two-minute warning. Two minutes to go in Seattle. The Mist have the ball, they have the lead, and a white knuckle grip on the final playoff spot. Back in Seattle with two minutes left to go. If Seattle holds on to this three-point lead, and they should just run the clock out here, that sets up a do-or-die matchup next week in Los Angeles. The Mist take on the L.A. Temptation right here on LFL Football Night. First and 10 from the Las Vegas 13. Hand off to Jessica Hopkins inside the 10. Cuts back inside the five to the goal line. She fumbles again. Schnorr picks it up again, but they're gonna call her down at the one. Great downfield blocking by LaShonda Fowler. Stock blocking. Right now, I think the heart is out of this Vegas defense. After that drop pass by Brace, they're on roller skates going backwards. Great run by Jessica Hopkins. Luckily, they call her down while she's died in the end zone. The Sin will call timeout with a minute 37 left, and not that Coach Michelson was looking past Las Vegas, but we asked him about a potential L.A. matchup for the playoffs. My thoughts uh, on the matchup with L.A. is going to be obviously an intriguing one. Uh, Well-coached team, 
with a great quarterback. However, our defense is stout. Stevie Snore will step up at middle linebacker and take care of business. I have no doubt that Stevie Schnorr will play excellent against Los Angeles. The question is, quarterback Angelo Rippin going in to Ashley Salerno's house. Ashley Salerno for Los Angeles, widely known as the best quarterback ever in the LFL. I just don't see it happening. But if Rippin pulls it off, they face the defending champs, the Chicago Bliss, who are at 3-0-1. That'd be a hell of a game, but it's going to be a tough one for Seattle to get by. Ashley Salerno in Los Angeles. They've got to make it through the next minute 37. A lot can happen, and a lot has happened in this game. Seattle with the ball and a first and goal at the Las Vegas one-yard line with a minute 37 to go and a three-point lead. Punch it in here, and you can breathe a lot easier. We've seen stranger things happen tonight. Rippon under center with a full house backfield. Stevie Schnorr is met immediately by Danica Brace behind the line of scrimmage. She'll lose at least two yards on first and goal. The stopper of all stoppers, Danica Brace, is back. She might have had a little mental last for a couple of plays, but now she's back to her old form. And you're right, this game is not over. Another stop like that. Who knows, they get the ball back with a minute left. This game is definitely not over. 116, 115, clock running. Seattle needs to get the ball into the end zone to get a little breathing room. Las Vegas needs to get the ball back to try and get the lead. Angela Rippon will take her time coming to the line on second and goal. Pitch this time to Schnorr. She's brought down at the five yard line. This game's still not over. Clock running with 48 seconds left. You really got a hand it to Danica Brace and its Vegas defense. They were on skates just a couple plays ago. Now they have two goal line stops. Can they keep it going? There's less than a minute, but you get Sydney Cummings the ball back and anything can happen. Seattle's going backwards. Now it's third and goal from the six. 30 seconds to go. Seattle will milk the play clock for all it's worth. And all Danica Brace can do in what might very well be her last LFL game is watch and hope she gets a shot. Try to strip the ball, somehow make him fumble the football. Inside again, that's Fowler. She's got room to the goal line. She's in. And that'll slam the door for the Seattle Mist. That puts Seattle in the position they need to be going up next week in the game of the year against the L.A. Temptation. We talked about LaShonda Fowler all night. She has all the tools to be all fantasy every year, but with all these other stars on the team, she doesn't get a lot of credit. Watch her turn a corner, burst in the action, go into the end zone, bam, touchdown Seattle. Put her to sleep. Go out with a big hit. Hey, you have one play left. You better kill a bitch. And end your season on a high note. Running. Even though this game is over, Danica Brace never quits. She wants to knock somebody out here on the last play. The extra point is academic with Seattle up nine. Rippon will throw to the end zone to Stevie Schnorr, and she's in. The extra point is good. That'll make it 28 to 18. That will most likely be your final score here in Seattle as they have a do or die matchup next week with the Los Angeles Temptation. Your game MVP tonight right there, Stevie Schnorr. Great stat, 67 yards again, over five yards a carry, 5.6 yards. Now it's up to Coach Michelson. This game is over unless something crazy happens, but he's got to get this team to play their A game against the L.A. Temptation. Every year, Seattle gets to this point, and somehow they fade, but I can't wait till next week's game. I don't think you can score 10 points in nine seconds, not even in this league. Cindy Cummings will bring her offense to the line. They start out at their own 15. First down with nine seconds left to go. Cummings will throw, and she'll look deep down the near sidelines. Wow, another great effort by Cynthia Schmidt, again going over the boards. I hope she's okay. She almost came down with it. Early in the game, she made an unbelievable catch going over the railing. There she does it again, couldn't come up with it. A good throw by Cindy Cummings, just didn't come down with it. Michael Cindy's telling everybody, get back, go on the goal line, do not let them go deep. Even though they come up short tonight, a great effort by Coach Dewey and the Las Vegas Sin. They've got a lot to build on for the future. They really do. Nobody expected him to play this well this season, but with the rookie quarterback, Cindy Cummings, with Marky Henderson, 
With Cynthia Schmidt, they have a solid base to build on next year. Coach Tui's he's got some good free agents coming in. They're going to be a fun team to watch. Cummings goes down short of midfield. That's the final play of the ball game. A great effort by the Las Vegas Sin. But Coach Michael Sin and the Seattle Mist live to fight another day. It sets up a do-or-die matchup in Los Angeles next week for the number two seed in the Western Conference. Your final score, the Seattle Mist 29. The Las Vegas Sin 18. Now I'll ask you once again, is this the final game for Danica Brace? On paper, I think, yeah. But I, she's got a lot of heart. She's got a lot of talent left. She's not going downhill. She's going uphill. My personal opinion, I, I don't think she's done, Chet. She's got too much to prove in this league. Danica Brace makes her way through as her former teammates in Seattle and her former head coach, Chris Michelson, give her a warm embrace as she may be walking off an LFL field for the final time. Thank you for watching LFL Football Night. Our producer is Connor Schofield. Our director is Brian Castaldo. Our executive producer is Mitch Mortaza. For the coach, Bobby Huco, I'm Chet Buchanan. It's win and you're in in Los Angeles next week. We'll see you then on LFL Football Night.